hello everyone we are talking about electric flux and gas law we have already explained in the previous video that electric flux that's a number of the lines for lines of force passing through a given area which is also defined as a dot product of e and uh, ds line integral of e and ds can be defined as 1 by epsilon naught times of total charge existing in a closed surface so it's very clear that uh, it's not depending on the shape means size no r no x anything like that so therefore if i have kept a charge q around that if i have imagined a sphere if i have kept the same charge q if i have imagined even a cylinder if i have kept a charge q even if i have ima imagined a triangle in all these cases the flux is going to remain same flux is not going to depend on the shape of the gaussian surface that we have imagined because it is an imaginary surface that we have whatever may be the surface we are just considering the effective flux in that closed surface so what we can say is electric flux is independent of independent of shape gaussian surface shape shape of Gaussian surface are popularly called something like G surface and it is also independent of where you have kept the charge inside that Gaussian surface. Wherever you have kept, if you have kept it within the surface then that is fine, it is going to be valid and I can definitely write a Gauss law using a formula that flux is nothing but equal to 1 by epsilon naught times of total charge. We have also explained earlier in the another video that uh, charge has to be inside the surface. If any charge is outside the surface, outside the surface, then we can say flux due to that charge is zero in the Gaussian surface is zero because due to that outside charge incoming flux is nothing but equal to the outgoing flux. So, the effective flux in that closed surface is going to be equal to 0. Now, let us consider a simple uh, scenario like uh, if I am having a sphere the total flux like I have said here is nothing but equal to q by epsilon naught. Say for example, I am having only a hemisphere now. I am having only a hemisphere and I have a charge Q on the surface of the hemisphere. People might ask you, so it is like a open bowl and it is on the surface, on the circular face and he is asking you what is the fluxes. As the surface is not a closed surface and as the charge is not in a closed surface, first of all I cannot apply this gas law. So, I have to put this in a closed surface. How I am going to put it in a closed surface is simply by imagining a identical surface around it, by imagining a identical surface. How can I imagine that identical surface? Imagine another hemisphere of same dimensions like this. Now, automatically it becomes a closed surface. Now, I can say in this entire closed surface as per the Gauss law, total flux is nothing but equal to the charge by epsilon naught. But in hemisphere, what is given for us in the problem is hemisphere. So, the flux is shared equally across the upper hemisphere and the lower hemisphere. So, the flux in the only hemisphere part that is originally there is half of the total flux I know the total flux is q by epsilon naught, half of it is nothing but q by epsilon naught. So, flux in a hemisphere is nothing but uh, q by 2 epsilon naught, it is not q by epsilon naught. So, these are the simple examples that we are handling in explaining the electric flux. Let us imagine we are having a cone, on the circular face of the cone there is a charge q here you are asked to calculate what is the flux due to this. Again this is the open surface, I cannot apply 
any of the gas law. So, I have to keep it in a closer surface. So, what I will be doing? I will be imagining an identical cone on the top. So, that the charge will be completely inside a closed surface. So, for the entire system, I can write flux is Q by epsilon naught. For the lower cone that what we are actually having in our system, flux is equally distributed between upper and the lower spheres. So, the flux actually in our problem is half of it that is nothing but equal to Q by 2 epsilon naught like this. We can understand the Gauss law and apply it in different cases to get the value of the flux. Now, let us go to a little uh, further complex uh, scenario. Let us consider a cube. I am talking about a cube. Suppose, if the charge is at the center of the cube, then I know I can write a formula flux is nothing but Q by epsilon. But now, I am not going to keep it at the center. Say, let us consider a cube. We know cube is having 6 faces. This is the cube. And I have kept a charge at the center of the cube. Say, for example, a charge cube. Therefore, the flux through the entire cube, flux through entire cube, total cube. As per the Gauss law is nothing but equal to Q by epsilon naught. But if someone asks you, what is the flux through only one phase of the cube? I do not want the flux from the all surfaces, but only one phase. We know cube is having six identical phases. So, through each phase, the flux is equally shared. So, the flux through any one surface is only equal to Q by 6 epsilon naught. The entire part is not there, but only 1 by a fourth of that is uh, there. Similarly, so we are considering, we are talking about keeping a charge somewhere at the center of a side of a square. So, even if you keep the second charge, the front part of that charge is covered with the second cube. To make that system complete, so that the charge is completely closed, I need two more cubes. So, what I have to say, the total cubes that are there for to the entire system, the flux is nothing but Q by epsilon naught. Through the given system that what we need to calculate is totally divided into four parts, that is nothing but equal to Q by 4 epsilon naught, like that we can divide the system and we can find out the flux. The simple rule that we are following is uh, whenever the charge is not in a closed surface, cover with sufficient shapes so that it comes to the part of a closed surface and apply the Gauss law. This is how we are going to solve and find out the flux using the Gauss law. Right? Thank you. We will continue this discussion further in the next posts. Okay.